welcome to Goodman Art Center Open House. My name is Stephen Fang. I have been doing Chinese painting for over 30 years. Today, I'm going to show you how to paint peonies in Chinese painting. Let's go through the items in the painting kit. Chinese painting brush. Here's a bigger brush and a smaller brush. And we also have the palette in the kit. Also the Chinese painting colors. A bag of Chinese painting rice paper. This is for you to practice the painting. You also need uh, to have the ink and a cardboard used for your final painting. At home, if you don't have water buckets like this, you can use a bowl or a plastic cups. Here we have the outlines of the peony flower that we just saw. Based on these outlines, we are going to do the color directly on the paper step by step. We are going to start from the center of the flower and you see all the petals in this painting they are circling around the center and we are going to paint from the side that's near us first and then around the center of the flower we are going to paint petal by petal complete the flower first and then we move on to the stem for the stems, because most part of the stems usually will be covered by the leaves. So we are going to paint a short stems and then we, we will build the leaves around the flowers and across on top of the stems. Then we will have a bud here. And also around the bud, we also have small leaves. And under the bud, we have another set of leaves. So these are the procedures and steps to paint the peonies in Chinese painting. So now we start to do the painting. First, we're gonna choose the color we're gonna use for this painting. There are number codes on the color. If you don't read Chinese, you can use the numbers. We're gonna use number 54, Shu Hong. Number 50, Tai Bai. Number 53, Yan Zhi, Darker Red. So all these three colors are used for the flowers. Now we are choosing the colors for the leaves. Number 58, Huang Qing. Number 25, Teng Huang. These two colors will create a green color for the leaves. Okay, that's all the colors we're gonna use. So first step, we are going to mix the color. This step is very important when we doing Chinese painting. First, we're taking the number 54, the Shu Hong. Take a small amount of Shu Hong. And then we're taking the number 53, Yan Zhi. Now we take number 50, the white color, in a different slot for the palette. When we're mixing the color, first take the small brush, we put in the water bucket to wipe the whole brush. In Chinese painting, we always put the darker color into the lighter color. So first, we're gonna create some pink color. We are taking the red, using the tip of the brush, put it in the white color. When we're mixing the two colors, most important part is you need to make sure the colors are more evenly put on the brush. Rotate the brush so that every part of your brush has the color. You should have all the colors on the brush. We can see the Chinese painting brush. There's a tape, there's a body of the brush. These two parts are the most commonly used parts of the brush in the painting. Now, on the tape of the brush, we are taking some more red color on the tape of the brush, number 54. You can see my brush on the tape is red and the body is pink color. To get the first petal correct, and we usually start from the line where all the petals are folding into different directions. So we will start from the first petal using the, the side of the brush. You can see when I'm holding the brush, try to make sure all the side of the brush touching the paper and do a fine shape. From there, press down your brush and turn this way. Now you can see the first petal looks like a fine shape, has the darker red to pink color transition there. 
So now, after you painted the first petal, we come back to the red, take a little more red on the tip. And now, besides the first petal, we are going to paint the second. You see, I'm actually using the tip of the brush, follow the lines of the first petal, and go this direction. Now we have the second petal. Come back again to take some more red on the tape. Below here, we have one more petal. Should go this direction. Now we have three, three petals. This is to form the center of the flower. Uh, each time, we're gonna come back to take some more red because the center of the flower is more darker. So besides taking the normal red, we will take a little bit more darker red, number 53, Yanji on the tip of the brush. So now from here, using the side of the brush to go one stroke, two stroke, to actually make the center of the flowers. You also using the side of the brush, this direction, one stroke. All the rest of the petals will be built around this center, right? So we come back to take some more red. So for the peony painting, because on the tip of the brush, we take little red color. So each time we will need to come back to take some more red color. We will build all the rest of the petals. The rest of the petals is actually come in between the two earlier petals you have already painted. So. When we paint it this way, remember the tape of the brush still following the center, right? So we're gonna go this, press down the brush, one stroke, press again, color another petal here. Now come back again, take some red, and go below, right? Same using the side of the brush. I have one, two, right? Now you have one petal below. So we'll continue to build all the petals. In the Chinese painting, we're actually looking for a particular shape of the flower, which is the top two petals a bit longer, and the two petals on the two sides a bit stretching the flower, so that it, it gives a better look of the flower. Right, so now come down below between these two petals. If your brush is dry, take some more color, uh, some more water. to build the rest of the petals. Some more red. Go below here. Using the side of the brush. And now we're painting a butt here. Same like when you do a flower and do a fun sh shape. Go on top. One more petal. Do another smaller one there. Once you finish the two flower, you can actually fine tune the flower. If you feel the shape a little bit uh, different, you can actually go here. See, I add one more petal here in below. You can add a small one here using the side of the brush. Now we will be taking the yellow color and the dark blue color. Take the yellow, small amount, it's okay. Taking the dark blue. Before we mix the two colors, what we need to do is actually to put the center of the flower, which is the yellow color. So we take the yellow directly, put on the center. So now we are mixing the dark blue color and yellow color to create the green color. Same, we are putting the darker color into the lighter color. 
to create a green color. Remember to get all the color onto the brush when you need to rotate the brush so that all the colors goes onto the brush smoothly. And then take some more dark blue color on the tape or the brush. Now you can see the brush is actually having uh, dark blue on the tape. We are painting the leaves of the flower. We're gonna start putting down the tape of the brush on the paper. So you can see, yeah. Put down and go up. Now this one part, one uh, part of the leaf. Now go another one on top. Come back and put a one stroke on the tape. This is actually because the leaf for the peony they are sh it has this sharp finishing on the tape. So it's actually three strokes, one for one part of the leaf, the second part of the leaf and the tape, right? So one peony leaf actually have small sub leaf, small leaf. So what we're gonna do here is we will have one more here and one more leaf there, right? So don't have to be the same size, the center should be the big one and right? besides the center there are smaller ones. Okay, same thing, we come back to take some more blue color and we are going to build the leaves around the flowers. Now here we need to take notes, when you're painting the leaf around the flowers, your leaf is darker color which actually will define the shapes of your flower because it's darker it can um, cover the pink color petals now you can actually use this to actually outline the flower what I mean is that you see huh? if I take some dark blue now if I do this you can see the petals of the flowers you can outline that now we continue to build and go this way Come back. So one, two, three. Yeah, it's not necessary to be everything to be three petals. It can be two. Sometimes it can go overlap. Now we need to do the stems. The stems you are taking the same grain brush, right? But on the tape, I'm taking a little red, so that it give me a little bit purplish on the side of the stem. So it goes start from the center of the flower. Press down the brush and go like this. So continue to build the other leaf. For below, you need to actually have some small branches to connect the leaves. Now we're connecting the stem, uh, the bud. You can go this way. Stop little. So that is not a straight stem. Okay. Now taking some more red. For the leaves of the bud is smaller, right? It's not like the big leaf around the flower. So we are not going to paint a lot of the leaves. For peony, we need to take notes, right? Actually, the top is green color. The bottom, we have a little bit more purple color because it's thicker. So we come back to the below, right? Now, we will need to connect all the stems, the, all the leaves. Come back here. This So, so now we switch uh, to the smaller line brush and we are going to do the lines on the leaves so we are using the darker red number 53 to actually draw the lines on the leaves the lines on the leaves is very important for the shape or for the direction of the leaves so when we do that right we need to actually show the direction of the leaves by using these lines. The last step is actually to get some more leaves behind the flower because currently it looks two-dimensional, right? So what we do use the same green brush, take a little bit more yellow, right? To 
just have to have some more lighter leaves behind for all these leaves you don't have to actually draw the lines now the last steps to complete the, the painting is to write the title of the painting and also the year and your name on the painting and put your seal on the painting and now we pour some ink into the palette if you don't know how to do um, calligraphy it's okay you don't have to write uh, the title of the painting you can just write your name the title of the painting in Chinese culture we use Bo Se Tian Xiang to describe the peony flower which means it has the best fragrance and the colors in the country then you can put your name seal under your name okay there you have it the complete uh, peony Chinese painting if you are interested to learn more about Chinese painting feel free to visit us at Goodman Art Center thank you Bye-bye.